Hello. I thought I'd take advantage of um, the unfortunate joys of um, visiting the vet while uh, COVID-19 is going on, which means only one of us gets to go in with our old Airedale and uh, and I'm um, watching someone back up. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in the thing. Um, watch, uh, you know, uh, only one of us can go in while the our old Airedale has her vet visit where she's getting her shots and uh, getting her nails clipped and uh, generally just having a having a checkup um, and you know sort of elder care just that kind of you know all those end of life conversations that you end up having uh, which is like uh, sucks to be on the outside for but uh, we decided that the most capable member of our family should be in there with Haley so that's why I'm out here. Uh, I thought I would do a little video on um, to Lukash, a totally preten pretentious did a video, which is called uh, Why Be Well Read, um, which has had various different responses uh, that I've watched, all by uh, uh, all by uh, white white dudes like myself. Um, but uh, I figured it's a it's a question worth thinking about. Um, Starting off by, I guess, the thing of like, well, what does it mean to be well read? Um, there seems to be kind of like there's a qualitative, qualitative tinge to that, and in past ages, that would probably mean um, well read would mean having read kind of uh, probably read generally the classics. Probably in different eras, that would have been, you know, you you would actually be well read in in the classics in the original Latin or Greek. Uh, which has definitely fallen away. Uh, and even now, um, there's like up to debate about like, you know, what's, what's, uh, for better word, the canon, what are the works that you should, uh, you should, as a member of our society, um, be, have, have read to, to consider yourself, um, I guess, well-educated, uh, someone who can kind of participate in the just sort of the general discussion uh, whether that's uh, in various fields I think I am for the purposes of this video I am talking about literature um, you know other videos have talked about like well if you're well read as a psychologist or you're well read as a mathematician that's going to mean radically different things and and if you're a mathematician and you haven't read the Bible well that doesn't really disqualify you for being a mathematician now if you're um, a professor of English literature uh, someone could probably make the argument that having at least a passing reference of, of sort of something like the, the Bible, maybe particularly the King James Bible, because so many of our writers have referenced that, um, that would be a thing. As a um, professor of English, um, whether that means actually, um, whether that actually means uh, somebody who is uh, just walking around the world should consider themselves ill-educated if they're not up on the uh, the uh, King James, a certain translation of the of the Bible, uh, is up to debate. Um, it's up to debate nowadays. You know whether a lot of what are considered old white dead guys, uh, whether that's the 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 bar that should be set for everyone for what it means to be well read. And uh, luckily, for the purposes of this video, I don't have to uh, teach any classes. I don't have to dictate what anyone else reads to be considered a uh, well-read. Um, all I have to do is consider my own personal reading. And um, I think a part of what my my booktubing in general is is sort of self-education about uh, being um being better read but also that well read to me is not only just sort of a prescriptive eating my brussels sprouts thing but being well read is also being exposing myself to works that i will enrich me uh in enjoyment as well as uh information as well as uh the history of my culture whatever that that is um and also maybe also to consider being well read in a in a uh, multicultural society means being aware of literature of the other people uh that i live in the society with um you know i live in the west coast um where you know uh the people i'm 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 
you know, I, I come into contact with or uh, the, you know, native people with uh, people from uh, India, from Pakistan, uh, from uh, Thailand, from, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, Black Caribbean, um, sort of all these different cultures of people that I, I live, I live amongst and, you know, um, maybe a part of being well read for me would actually having at least a passing idea as much as I, as, as an individual who reads only a certain amount, you know, should, should maybe pick up a little bit of that as I go along is going to make me well read. Um, I do think because, you know, a lot of what I read is, uh, English and American and Canadian works. Um, they're all works that are in conversation with that, that reference or influenced by or reacting to things that happened in, in, in um, the past of my, of my own particular uh, white European culture. My, my mother uh, is in, was English. My father was Scottish and they immigrated here, but uh, a lot of that culture was brought along. So it's probably, probably for me, something like, you know, I have read various bits of the King James Bible pretty good hunks of it now maybe not leviticus and stuff like that but pretty good hunks of it and have thought about it uh probably not nearly enough um and you know a lot of the authors that i've read um are reference that um pretty heavily um you know and it's also you know what does well read mean like should i just have a survey sample of um, should I have only read one Anthony Trollope book when I've actually read like a whole ton because I really enjoy Anthony Trollope at this point. Uh, Anthony Trollope who um, references Boccaccio, uh, his Decameron, uh, the story of Griselda in one of in, in the book that I'm reading at the moment. Uh, and it's like, oh, hey, I actually know that story. I, I had to I had to refresh my memory with the uh, Wikipedia, but it's like, oh, I actually read that one. That was a really fucked up story about Griselda. Um, so, and like, oh, okay, and he's doing a, what for him was a modern day Griselda in 1860 or whenever he wrote that book. But he's, he's, he's referencing something. He's, that's something where, and that, that I know that story and I actually know that story, at least from a translation of the original work is, is actually, is, is, is something that's, it's enjoyable. I think, um, maybe a part of like, for me being well read is also, I think about just sort of my history as a reader that um, when I started out, when you start out reading, you read books and they'll have words in it that you don't understand. And you look up those words. Uh, and then as you kind of master all the different words, um, which, you know, still sometimes, Oh, what the hell does that word mean? And you'll be, I'll be Googling that. Um, but um, it'll there'll also be references to stuff. Uh, that you'll go, oh, what are they referencing there? What's, what's that an allusion to? Uh, and, uh, the, uh, and, and you start looking up that. And I often, like, at the very beginning of, of reading, I remember I would always be on the lookout for when an author in their book would mention another author because that would give me somewhere, someone else to look up. Um, which I think is like, that's how you read, is that, one of the ways that you read, the one of the ways that you build your library, the build the books that you wanna you wanna you wanna talk you want to um, talk about is you is you is you look for like all the little connections between one book and another book. Uh, it's uh, a great um, the library of the world is this great organic thing uh, that's so kind of interconnected, um, and. Um, for me, uh, you know, if you start off with the question of what does it mean to be well-read, it's to become aware of at least some of those interconnections, to make those connections between books, between uh, the King James Bible, uh, between uh, Shakespeare, um, and also, and you know, some some of those some of those connections are going to be wood that for for you for they're not going to be living branches. They're going to be stuff like I read this. And it's like, yeah, this, this guy's important and I have the general idea, but it's not some, it's not a branch that I want to spend a lot of time on. Whereas there are other branches of those trees, uh, for me, probably like stuff like Shakespeare, Anthony Trollope. It's like, I want to spend a lot of time there. Um, um, you know, and, and there's other places that are just playgrounds that are that like, you know, 
your Terry Pratchett, uh, for me, for me, like fantasy, uh, science fiction, that, um, it's a branch, but like, I, I spend a lot of time there is just enjoyment. Um, you know, it may not be the most, uh, uh, it, it, it's, you know, I think, I, I, I think part of being well-read is to try and try as many of those branches as possible and hopefully find as many ones that are living for you as possible. I mean, some people are perfectly happy of just being like, you know, just being a science fiction reader or just being a fantasy reader or uh, just reading literature. And like, that's all, all the, all the power to them. Um, you know, and sometimes it's like, I only read British literature or I only read, uh, you know, American literature or God help you. You only read Canadian literature, uh, speaking as a Canadian, but, um, it's, it's like, uh, I, hopefully you can, you should, I, it's a big, it's a big thing. It's an exploration. And, uh, I think the more I can explore, hopefully the more enjoyable stuff I can find, I'm never going to stay on a branch. If I just, if I don't find it interesting, it could be as worthy as possible, but at a certain point I'll go, okay, you know what I've learned as I've learned what I need to sort of learn maybe. And, and just gone, okay, I don't need, I, I don't need to spend time here. I know it's there. That's good. But um, I'm going to go off and search other branches because that, that living part of it, that organic part of it, where you're excited about it, where you enjoy, you're enjoying your time is also part of being well-read is, 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 uh, there's a qualitative of, of, of the kind of writing you read, but there's also the qualitative of the enjoyment of the engagement that you have. If you don't have engagement with a, with, with something, uh, it's probably better to just like note that maybe think about why it doesn't engage you uh and then to move on uh and who knows maybe you'll find different different leaves on that on that particular tree that will that will appeal to you more you shouldn't just uh dismiss all british literature because you don't like anthony trollope or you don't like charles dickens there's plenty more uh in in just even the 19th century um maybe you know or you know it, it's just um that's, I think that's to me what means it means to be well read. And thankfully, I don't have to uh, set any uh, classroom cu curriculum or have any, uh, or, or have any great battles over, you know, people, you know, if, if, if you want to only read women or you only want to read men uh, or you only want to read, um, you know, a particular type, that's, that's, you know, your personal decision. Uh, hopefully I, 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 I try and push myself cause I, I, I have a tendency to just like, oh, I'll just stay with Anthony Trollope. I'll just stay with, uh, uh, at the moment, Edgar Rice Burroughs. But it's like, that's also limiting too. You don't want to just only be that. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll mix in other stuff because, uh, oh, let's, let's just go with the, the most cliched metaphor of, of, uh, variety is the spice of life. Ugh. Geez, this is why I don't actually write any of these great works of literature. So yeah, that's me. That's me blabbling along about uh, being well read. Uh, am I well read? No. Do I uh, do I aspire to being well read? I do. I do. More videos later.